I told you I'm done with that life. But it's not done with you. Sir, strike team are en route to Johnny Klein's last known location. We need him alive. We need to know what he has. Congratulations on Heart of the Hunter. I really, really enjoyed the film. Thank you. Thank you so much. Where did you see it? We haven't even seen it ourselves. No. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of prep must go into both of your roles because you each had a lot of action as well and you're obviously the motorcycle scenes as well. Can you tell me a bit more about your prep for the role? I had four weeks of stunts, martial arts training uh, with uh, the amazing stunt team, Oliver Bailey and his team. And yeah, I had to get a motorbike license, mm. learner's license, which I felt for the first time. But I got it the second time. Mm. Um, but yeah, man, it was it was a lot. It was really outside my comfort zone from the action, you know, the motorcycle. Um, but with the support of Manja, the team, the entire crew, the production team, and the cast as well, we're able to pull it off. Do you understand what is at stake? There's but one man standing between me and winning this election. So go. What are you doing? We can stop Ntima from becoming president. Nicole, there are so many cool action scenes in this film that you mm. particularly are a part of. Um, what kind of prep goes into a role like that for you? They asked me if I wanted to do my own stunts for this film and I said yes, please. Um, so I was very fortunate that um, this character came along. But we had stunt training um, for about a month and a half. And we also changed up our diet, of course, to kind of get fit and ready for it. Um, but I think also the physicality really helps with the acting and informs that so much, especially um, the fierceness when you you actually on set and you're playing with the guys um it really brings about that kind of life or death situation the feeling of it mm. connie you've been on our screens for a long time what makes this project special to you hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at me okay two things number one working with mantra oh. whom i've always always wanted to work with yeah. so that was really an experience for me thank you number two it's my first real film and the reason i'm saying my first real film is because i've done a movie before but it was a very small role so in this one i really got to appreciate the genre um, of film as opposed to what i'm predominantly known for which is series mm -hmm. and um, long formats <laughs> There was a strong family theme and love theme as well in this film. Uh, you were closely with Masasa and Boleng, the little one. Yeah. Uh, what were they like to work with? It felt real. Mm -hmm. It felt it felt real. It felt genuine. Best time of my life ever. It, it and I know people. It sounds very cliche because we all say this, but it really didn't feel like working. It felt like playing with friends, and I have to say kudos to Manza about that because you, as actors you very rarely get a moment to have a rehearsal period which Manza afforded us so we got to get to know each other we went to church together. Bimo was a champion like when uh, willing sorry we call him Bimo on set right <laughs> yeah uh, he's uh, dude he's so smart um, he's probably one of the smartest kids. kids I've ever met and, and professional and professional and so talented that yeah it, it just became so real by week three week four you know him and I would jam Nintendo Switch in my trailer mm -hmm. and play FIFA together and even just offset you know would hang out on weekends with these parents and we'd go to church together and mm. it just became such a, a real family that even to this day you and I I check up on a young man, you know, through his mom. You don't have a phone yet, you know. I check up on how's how's bullying. Go, go, go! We're running out of time. No, no! Either you talk or we make you talk. Amanda, actually, I believe that um, Nicole's character, for example, and also Milan's characters, are males in the book by Dion Mayer. Mm -hmm. um, was that a conscious decision, obviously, including more females in the film? The, the book is is, uh, is is a novel, and this is a screenplay, right? And it's a completely different medium. And I think we had to take creative license and saying, all right, this is what we're gonna do with it. And then to have a collaborator like Dion Mayer, who's open to that, right. was just amazing. He wasn't like, nah, you can't do that. He was like, oh, I love it. You like that? Great. You were like, are you sure we can do that? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. This is an adaptation based on the book um, because I know that a lot of con uh, controversy is sparked when people are like, but 
they did this and you didn't do that and it's just like it's a reimagining by everyone mm -hmm. and like everyone has said um Dion is an artist, so he allows everyone to reimagine and play uh, without losing the essence of the story, mm -hmm. uh, which is a crime thriller, a political thriller, without losing the heart of it. See what I did? Yeah. <laughs> um, without losing the heart of it, um, it's still true to what has been written, but reimagined in a different context, which I think that's what artistry is about, right? Mm -hmm. It's about figuring out how to color differently. When you have a team of collaborators that can be able to to, to be open to that, then you know it, it makes your job easier as a filmmaker, as a director. The optics of today. Mm. Let's let's you know let's be intentional around that. I do think that's maybe one thing that we should say to readers is not expect the book. Please because don't. now I've just remembered now that my character was male. <laughs> I just remember right. now initially it was male. Um, so yeah, it is a reimagination of the story. Thank you so much for your time and Thank congratulations you. again. Thank, Thank you, you for so having much. us. Thanks, Star. <laughs> Great. Why is Good. it ending? <laughs> I need to find them. How much time do you need? Brad Lewis. Where's my son?